Hello, welcome back to another video. So Kabam have just released this news on the War Season update. So War Season 32 finished, GT4 did well. Um, season 32 is coming out, they've announced that it's the April the 13th. Uh, but they're also going to be making these loyalty and glory store changes. So everybody's like, oh, what's going on here then? There's a new tactic coming up, so this mystic dispersion. Um, don't know how that's going to be, probably pretty weird. Um, in honesty, if I stay in Masters Alliances and stuff like that in Tier 1, it won't affect me for another couple of seasons, just because uh, they won't be putting it onto Expert Map. It'll only be Challenger Map that this can affect. So I think that's like Tier 3, Tier 4, Tier 5 maybe. These people can be affected by this. So for me, it doesn't really make a big difference, but for other people, it would. These loyalty store changes, um, I, I heard about these. Um and was really intrigued so we're gonna have a look and i'll go i've got some pictures towards the uh, the end of the video of exactly what they've done but for the most part i know people aren't happy with them at all the season rewards update so this is long overdue this is so long overdue it's beyond a joke and these rewards i'm gonna just zoom in in a second Let me go back to the top. So that's proper rewards. Like in terms of the graft you put in, for the officers who plan everything, for the items you use, for the boosts you use, for sometimes some of the stress that you go through to be able to do some of these fights and to do them well. You practice your duels, you make sure you do all this. You, there's so many interactions, there's so many different things that like happen now. The, these rewards are worth it. And to be honest, for the Platinum 2 alliances now, they get as many 6-star shards as what Warchamp did. Um, they at least get some rank 4 materials. And I, I genuinely think they they are good rewards. They are worth it. And it show all the way down stone. Here, they just released some extra nodes. And honestly, I'd rather just experience them in-game. We'll see what happens. And then they announced this Glory Store change. So... Basically, they've split up the Alliance War and Alliance Quest health potions, which to me instantly screams money grab and, oh god. Um, they've, for Thronebreaker uh, players such as myself, the reduced price of the T5CC, that's good news. It's always going to be good news. Uh, reduced price of T5B, that's great news. People are so bottlenecked on T5B, it was crazy. T4CC again, that's great news. Um it seems like it's good news all around, pretty much for Thronebreaker. So I'm just looking through the Glory Store here. This isn't awful. I don't mind that. It's not awful. This is very good value compared to what it was. This is also insane value. That was 1500 for one of them before the update. And I was buying all of these that I could have time, and I was paying 5000 Glory for them for just five lots of this. So now I can get 10 lots of that for just over the same. And that's going to help me so much with potential rank ups and that going forward. I actually think the Glory Store overall was a great update. This, this is disgusting. And this is what is going to kill Alliance War, especially for people that aren't spenders. It's a joke. Kabam need to fix this. And because realistically, most alliances, including GT40, where I am, won't be able to compete.